fight back. Honestly, I'm not sure about that matchup. I think you should probably just gig all and infuse as Delhi against Byzantine. You don't really need to go on Cast Rage. Because this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a tier list for each map. Right? So it might take a while. Maybe we can only do a few of the maps here for a bit. But... Um... Okay, we're doing Dry Arabia post. Because... Chad map, right? Gorge is a pretty cool map. Okay, yeah, this is going to be uh, quite a big TRS here, but I mean, I'm just chilling anyway, so value stream. All right, um, and there's 16 civs now, too. Okay. China and Dry Arabia, we'll, we'll start with China. Um... China is definitely a C tier. They were, they were better before, but because of all the new civs, China feels a lot weaker now. Like, China doesn't have as much tempo base as, like, other civs. Like, Bruce, even English can keep up faster with the new civs than China can, so they're just a bit slow. I think China's B on a town. Mm. Nah, I think, I think China's C, to be honest. I mean, even if they... Oh, uh, like okay. Like I wouldn't really want to pick China on a RAN map over other civs to be uh, like generally S T R V map. <laughs> no, no, no. China, China's C on Dry Arabia. I think, I think China's a uh, pretty solid C. Um, China's definitely gets up there when you consider hybrid maps and you consider like Hill and Dale, like very defensive maps. Um. Abbasid, I'm kind of thinking that they're on the same level as China. You could maybe even rate them a little bit higher than China, but the new civs have really made China and Abbasid just in general, I, I, I think, feel a lot weaker. Um, these civs just don't... like they're, they're like... They're like old boomy civs, which are worse than the, the new boomy civs. <laughs> okay, let's pick a new civ next. Um, what do we think about Iobids? The apparently broken Civ with Fast Castle. Mm. I'll probably put them A, to be honest. Like, I would have put them S before the nerfs from the last patch, but I think they're pretty solid A at the moment with Iobids. They really have that Fast Castle thing and not much else. Like, you can go double TC, triple TC with Iobids. But I wouldn't do it against, like, any Boomy serve in the game. Like, I'm not going 3TC versus, like, fucking Zushi or something, right? Like, I'm just gonna get out boomed. Yo, what's up, Dimec? Um, so Albid's definitely an A on this, on a, this kind of map, like Dry Arabia. Um... Let's do Angrosh. Angrosh... I do think English honestly hasn't changed too much, like, from the patch, because English English kind of does their own thing, you know? Like, they they can kind of rush any Civ no matter what, I think. Maybe you don't want to be rushing Mongos, or even you can you can even rush Delhi. Like, you can rush Albids, you can rush all these new Civs, like, it's still pretty solid. Um, they're, they're, like, they're never going to be an A or S, I think on the RAND map, but kind of like the same thing, they're never going to be like a detail on a RAND map, you know? I think you have to rush Delhi with English. Uh, I think you can definitely, I think, I don't know about have to, but you definitely can. Fucking English dude, remove it from the game. <laughs> When when you when half of your games against a certain Civ, like you do tend to hate it, yeah. All right, and Delhi. Honestly, I think Delhi is a lot worse than other people. Like Beastie thinks Delhi is like Giga Broken, not Giga Broken, but he thinks it's like one of the strongest Civs, right? Um, 
Fucking Lucifron Vortex, they all pick, pick Delia Watt. E obviously picks Delia Watt, but I'm gonna put in an A. Like, if it was my. Honestly, I'm tempted to put in B, but I'm gonna put in an A because this if you're gonna pick Delia on the map, it's gonna be fucking Dry Arabia. So, yeah. Um. Like, obviously, it's just like an open map. This is like the map you're gonna pick Delia on. Byzantines, so this is a tough one. Um, honestly, I kind of consider Byzantines like Abbas in China at the moment. The tempo is just not fast enough for these kind of maps. These like open, very tempo based uh, maps. If you if there was like Hill and Dale or if there was like Hidden Valley, you can maybe pick Byzantines and it will feel better. Like the like when we get to Hidden Valley, you'll start to see these boomy sieves be a little bit better. But on a map like this, it's just like. You're asking to lose if you pick, pick Byzantine, so I'm going to put them behind China here. Delhi's so fun though, which is impressive for a save with one price out. You think Delhi's fun? <laughs> uh, okay, and I know... Mm, actually, there's so many... Let's get French out of the way, because nobody plays French anymore. Kappa. Um, French, again... Like I would consider French like English, in that they're just like... I think they're going to be decent, like, no matter what you do, to be honest. Like, unless you just, like, nerf them to the ground. Like, the Vilt TC thing, I think they're going to be fine. Not sure if they're ahead or behind English, but let's just put them here. Just because, like, nothing's really changed for them too much. They probably, the same way they probably the last patch here. Byzantines just can't win versus ABBA. I haven't played that matchup too much, but yeah, I don't imagine it would be good for Byzantines. Like, you just get outboomed, right? Like, maybe if you somehow make it to the very, very late game, then you can win. But I don't know. Alright, there's some spicy ones here, but let's pick Order of the Dragon. Now, I'm quite confident, guys, Order of the Dragon is just detail. Um, especially on a map like Joe Arabia, they just don't have the tempo to play on a map like this. I would pick. Pretty much every save in the game over Order of the Dragon. Like, Byzantine's included, if I want to win a game. What is this Order of the Dragon surrender? It's just bad. Like, I'm sorry, it's bad. It's an undertuned sieve that needs a lot of help. Um, n yeah, no, no explanation really needed. It's just not a good sieve. In my opinion. Okay, now Maui. This is a tough one, because I generally feel the nerfs have hit Maui pretty hard, and I, I do think, even before the patch, Maui wasn't considered like S tier. I would, I would have put them A tier, maybe high A tier, but now I'm going to put them probably behind Dowie here, like on the lower side of A tier. Um, Maui seems to struggle, I, I think, a base versus like very, very good civs, and that's kind of obvious, but... Maui against Roos, Maui against Zushi, Maui against Ottomans, I even think. Delhi, for, for example, it's just, I just think you're kind of at a disadvantage. Um, and the, one of the reasons is you kind of have to kill them. <laughs> you can't really let the, let the game go too far into the game, like the rate game and stuff. China C? Yeah, China's a C. For sure, I think. Um, Mongos. I'm tempted to put Mongos as the first S serve, to be honest. It is Dry Arabia, so maybe they're not. Like, maybe they're like S A tier. Actually, they're probably A tier, right? Like, I, I actually do think they're A tier on a map like this. Like, you can't guarantee your, your trade sites. It, there's no hybrid, so there's no water. So there's no, like, advantage with early tempo. Um, there's a lot of counter play against Mongos on a map like this. So I'm gonna have to put them A tier. And, unfortunately, first S tier is Zushi. The Civ is fucking busted. Um, the issue with Zushi is that they're good on every single map, because the Civ is, in my opinion, overtuned. Um, they have, like, billions of options you can go through. They can do... Zuganu all in, they can do 2TC, they can do 3TC, they can do Fast Castle, they can 
They can just do everything. Like, th think of a strategy Zushi can do it. It's like... <laughs> okay. Like, that's a Civ, but alright. Um... I mean, I generally don't mind a Civ being able to do everything, but but they they do everything and they do it like the best. So yeah, Atri is another one of those like old Civs that I would probably put around C, like Atri, China, Abbasid. Um, yeah, I mean nothing like they're not bad. They're definitely viable. Nothing has really changed for them. Um, they're just like kind of a C tier Civ. And on a map like Dry Arabia, they have potential. I think I think that's a fair price for it. Yo, what's up, Pouch? You need you need another tier for Zushi, something like S plus 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 plus. there might only be a few in S tier here, to be honest. I think. I think Ottomans might go in S tier on a map on Andre Arabia. Maybe A tier? I mean I think Ottomans is de generally better than all these A tier civs, so I'm gonna put them in S tier. Um Zushi is definitely better than them. But Ottomans is just so well rounded. They're like Zushi, they're just like good at every stage in the game. If early game Ottomans is good, mid game Ottomans is good, late game Ottomans is good. Um, and on Dry Arabia, that's like they don't really have any weak points on this map. Like it's just kind of like a standard map. Ottomans is just good here. I don't think uh, there's much more to say about this Civ. It's kind of been decent for a while. Like even when I thought Ottomans wasn't good, I was probably just wrong. Like they just they just get a lot of free resources. Um, yeah. I think Ayo Antan? Antan? Hmm. I mean, I can see why you'd say A, but personally I think it would be S. Um, now Roos though. I gotta put Roos in S here as well. Like, I think if I was to play Roos against any of these civs, to be honest, behind them, Ottomans, Arabid, Mongols, uh, Delhi, Malians, French, English, I'm feeling confident versus any of these civs except for Zushi. Like, Zushi is the only civ as Roos that I'm like, on, on Dry Arabia that I'm like, okay, I kind of don't want to play against. Um, and that's why I picked them on Dry Arabia, on Gorge, on these open kind of maps, because even if they're not, like, the absolute best, I'm never playing Bruce on one of these maps and being, like, unhappy about the situation. So, yeah, Bruce is definitely S here, ahead of Ottomans behind Zushi. And now, probably two of the favorites, we got Jean and Japan wrapped. And this is a question definitely about Japan that I've been getting asked like a bunch is how good is Japan on RAM maps? And that's because people often see them on hybrid maps, they see them on Canal, they see them on Himiyama, they see them on Golden Heights. You don't really see them on Dry Arabia. And that kind of makes sense because um, Japan is definitely on the weaker side when it comes to Dry Arabia. I'm tempted to even put them in C here. Um... Because now that I think about it, if I go up against like China, Atri, Abbasid, Byzantines, I'm not like, as, as Japan, I'm not thinking like, I should win this matchup. Um, it's a close B, like end of B here and top of C here, I'm thinking with Japan. It's a tough one, actually. I'm going to put them at the bottom of B, just because they're still a new Civ, they still have some stuff to be figured out about. Um, and just because people have been reading more towards hybrid maps for Japan, doesn't mean that, like, maybe maybe they don't have as much experience on, like, a map like Dry Arabia, you know? So I'm going to put them on the end of B here. Yeah, I think that's fair.
All right, and now Jean. Um, I think everyone probably agrees that Jean is probably S or A. I'm just thinking where. I'm just thinking which one here. It's tough because I think Jean does... Like, I'm not really satisfied if Jean goes up against Zushi, Rus, or Ottomans. Um, I think I would prefer Jean against Arabids. I really haven't played that matchup too much, but it makes sense that it should be okay for Jean because two aggressive saves against each other, Jean gets a lot of XP. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just not confident that Jean is S at the moment, so I'm gonna put them at... I'm gonna put the middle of the pack A here. I think this is fair for fair to John. F according to Marine World. <laughs> I'm not sure he still thinks that, but yeah, he was he was on the F train for John quite for quite a while. Mid A seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, I think so as well. Okay, so that's that's Dry Ravia. Um maybe we'll do a couple more maps here. Gotta do them a bit faster, but We'll do some more sp more spicy maps here. Um, can I save this actually? Download the image right though. We really think Byzantine is that bad on Arabia. I feel like they're B, but that's me. I mean, you gotta compare them to the other sims, right? Like. I, I just think that, yeah, they're probably, like, I, they're definitely not, like, they're, they're just not amazing. Like, I, I wouldn't prefer to play them against most of these servers. Like, there's maybe a few matchups here that that is not terrible for um, Byzantines, but generally, I would favor all the, like, most of the other servers against Byzantines. Yeah. Yo, Sir Penguin, thank you for the raid, man. Thank, thank you. Why is Abbasid so well? I mean, Abbasid just, I, I feel like a lot of the new civs, um do quite well against Abbasid. Like, Zushi does well against Abbasid. John absolutely destroys Abbasid. Like, it's very, very John favored. Um, Albids, I think, is good against Ab Abbasid. Like, you just can't keep up tempo with them. Um, Byzantine's Order Dragon, you know, maybe not, but they're bad anyway, so who cares. And yeah. I think that's my Dry Arabia Civ tier rest. Now, what should the next map be? Um... Do Canal, I think. It's a lot of... Gorge? Yeah, but Gorge is probably very similar to Dry Arabia, to be fair. I mean, I could do Gorge and, and kind of get it out of the way. Because it's so much for Shy Arabia, but I want to spice things up a little bit. Why don't I play more mangas? Um, just because I think mangas is generally like banned in a lot of tournaments, especially on like hybrid kind of maps. So I just don't practice them that much. All right, and saying that on canal, let's do mangas first. Um, in tradition with hybrid with mangas being some of the best civ, like one of the best civs on every single hybrid map, I'm gonna put them S tier. Maybe they're not number one S tier, but for now they're definitely S tier. And you're gonna see a lot of the same hybrid civs being strong on these maps. Yo, Beyond. Uh, yeah, thank you, man. Watching. Go take a go take your dog out. Um. Yeah, Magus is just there's there's a few reasons why Magus is just like very good on almost every single type of map. Is first of all, um, you get you get a lot of tempo with double producing units, and that's because you're just gonna have more units than your opponent, right? If you double produce spearmen and they 
one produce spearmen. The only way for your opponent to catch up in spearmen is for them to add a second barrel axe. And Rust, they're playing Zushi, um... Yeah, like Zushi, English, like civs that can produce other units faster. Like Zushi can supervise the the barrack. English can build metal arms instead. You're just not going to be able to keep up production with mangas. And mangas is going to get that tempo. They're going to get a faster H2. They're going to get more fishing boats out. And on the hybrid map, that just snowballs very, very fast. Um, yeah. And now, we'll get some bad civs out of the way for now. Because I think it's very, on a map like Canal, it's very like, you're either very good or you're very bad. And Abbasid, Abbasid is definitely one of the bad civs. Um, I'm just thinking DOC, because you can go Military Wing. Maybe that's a viable strat. Let's put them C. I feel like if you're going to play Abbasid on Canal, you need to go Military Wing. That's the only way to kind of like equalize the tempo a little bit. Ranked map pool this season is meh. Um, I like it to be honest. I like the ranked map pool. You like? Why do you think it's meh? Is it too many hybrid maps? Or I think a lot of people do think that too many hybrid maps in general. But I know um, generally the devs want uh, the map pool to be a little bit more. Like they don't want it to all just be like Dry Arabia, you know? As much as some of us would enjoy that. Okay. Abbasid CTO, pretty obvious, just not very really hybrid civ. Um, French, probably again CTO. Doesn't really have any hybrid bonuses. Um, it's a rand map, just pretty much straight up. There's, there's nothing good about canal that makes you want to pick french um, even knights you can just wall off your base pretty easily on this map so don't really ever ever see anyone play french here for obvious reasons um malians detail on this map again not really hybrid civ um you can do some cheeses with them with uh the escort ship and then putting some villas in if you want to do that javelins are kind of nice um especially on a map like this where there's just one river going down um they're kind of like longbows very good at sniping stuff very good at killing boats so that's probably the only reason i put malians above apples and french is because of the javelin throws because of their escort ship they do have a little bit more that allows them to build on hybrid maps um, China, another CTO civ, maybe above Abbasid and French here, but just in general, uh, China is not fast enough on hybrid maps. On water maps, it's different because you can focus purely on water. Um, on hybrid maps, you need to make units, and China, the issue with China is that you generally want to be focusing at the very start of the game, either just on wood or just on food. Because your IO can only buff one resource at a time. And it just doesn't make sense for China to get an, I an early IO to buff th three villages on wood, right? Or four villages on food. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, so that's the reason China is not good on maps like this. Zushi. Um, actually, Zushi is not bad on this map. And. I'm not going to put them A because I don't think anyone would play Zushi on this map. But I'm going to put them mid B tier. And Zushi is not bad on this map because you can legit ignore water on, on Zushi and just play normal, a normal game. And that's because they actually can produce Spearmen in the Dark Age quite efficiently. That's because you start with an IO, so you don't need, um, you don't need to, expect to spend that extra 50, 50 food on an IO. And you can just put everybody on food and produce spearmen. So, Zushi definitely, definitely vibe on this map. Definitely better than these these boomy sieves. Again, Zushi can do everything, and they're fine on this kind of map. Trust me. Um, maybe not against some sieves, but but they're okay. 
Byzantine. Very tempted to put them on D tier here. Um, actually, let's just do that, yeah. I think Byzantine, you do get the olive oil from, from the shoreline fish, but it's just like so minimal and it comes so late in the game that like again hi hybrid is about tempo and byzantine just does not have tempo like they generally just don't have it so trying to go hybrid get shoreline fish get mercenaries do like six things at once while manga just has like fucking 20 spears at your base that is that is not how you play hybrid maps um Stone front press, press stone front placements, hippo for horses. Yeah, but who the fuck goes horses like on hybrid maps? Like, <laughs> it's like English is good on hybrid maps because you get fucking rongbows from your council hall. Like, that's the shit, man. You want those rongbows. English is an S tier serve on this map. You, you age up efficiently, you get cheaper votes. You can age up very quick, you can go men arms, like you have lots of options as English. And then when you age up, you can spam wrong women. While having like men arms, while having spearmen or something. Horseman, it's just not the move. It's not what you want. Mango towers? I mean mango towers are always good, yeah, but hybrid maps are tempo heavy and mango towers are H3. So usually on the map like Canal, like, I would say 80% of the games, the game is kind of like very tilted in one part of this direction once the game hits Castle. Um, because one part is probably going to win water by then, and then, you know, the game's kind of over at that point on a map like this. So, English very good on Canal, Monk is very good on Canal. Um, What's another good canal map? Civ, sorry. Ottomans. Um, yeah, I'm just going to smack Ottomans ass here because they just kind of are. Like, Ottomans, again, is a very tempo heavy Civ. They have, there's various reasons why Ottomans are good on canal. Um, like, I can rest them here. They have cheaper bar axes, they have cheaper docks, they have um, visor points in Dark Age. This all encourages you to play very dark age heavy Ottoman playstyle on, on hybrid maps. In general, dark age civs are good on, on hybrid maps. Um, so, yeah. You just. You can get a dock, you can get a barrack, you can get three imams. Like, you can just do a bunch of all the. You can just do all of this stuff as Ottomans. But it's like. Abbasid. Like, you're not going to do any of that stuff. Like, except for a cheaper dock, you have nothing, right? You're just gonna die to the Ottoman pressure at that age. I mean, actually think about it. Ottomans compared to Abbasid, they get 25%, sorry, they get 25 more wood from their dock. Like, saving res by building a dock, and that's it. Ottomans have cheaper barracks, um, visor points. They, like, it's just not something you want to be up against. Order Dragon. This might actually be viable for Order Dragon. Um, I'm gonna put Order Dragon at a B tier here, probably ahead of Malians, just because they actually do. I mean, low key, Order Dragon might be best on a map like this, where you want to focus heavy on military. I haven't tried it out, but I could actually see it being quite decent. Free Dark Experiment. Fucking Ottomans, pretty much, too, man. Well, actually, they deal with the school, with the military school. Oh shit, Order Dragon not D tier? Not D tier? I haven't played them enough, maybe they are D tier, but I'm convinced that if you're going to play Order of Dragon on a, on a map, it's going to be a map like Canal. So, maybe I'll have to try Order of Dragon on a map like this more often. Because, in theory, it should be good for them, right? I, I don't know if you produce Spearman faster, but... Your one Spearman produces... I mean, it's the same as two Spearman. I don't know if it takes twice as long, but... I think it should be good. 
<laughs> Who knows? But uh, let's put it there. A tree is a solid A tier. Um, a tree has always been quite decent on on, on hybrid maps, and that's because obviously you start with a prowl, you start with inspired uh, villagers. Um, more resources on a hybrid map like this, especially when you're in dark age, just means more units. Um, whereas you're competing with a lot of these other civs, like, like again referring to Abyssin and French, they're not gathering extra resources at the start of the game. So having that one more spearman, that two more spearmen is just going to win you that water fight, and then it's going to win you the game after that. So HRE pretty much only good because of prowlots, and that's all they need to be good, right? Um, yeah, just produce more than your opponent, win the water, GG. So that's good for HRE. Um, Japan? ATO. Um, maybe they're even better than ATO? Actually, shit, maybe you could put them at S tier here. They're, they're definitely better than ATO, I would say, just because you save a lot of resources on fishing. Um, you don't really want to play Dark Age as much as Japan, but you can skip to Feudal Age for that Shinobi and then um, sabotage the dock and stuff like that. So Japan here just has a lot of options. They're quite good. Um, because of cheaper fishing boats, um, Shinobi, and that's really all they need to be good on maps like this. Samurai as well. Samurai is quite cool. Um, now Delhi. I think Delhi is probably probably A tier here. Um, probably around A tree as well, and I think that is like I would favor A tree against Delhi in a straight up fight between the two. But I think Delhi is better against civs like Japan, better against civs like English, but even better against civs like Mongols. Um, that's just because Delhi forces you into a play style that doesn't really favor like. Heavy, heavy aggression. Can't really be aggressive versus Delhi, at least in Dark Age, because of the fishing boats. Um, but that's not really the same case for HRE. You can be aggressive versus them, and Mongols and Ottomans will be aggressive versus HRE, and HRE at times can struggle to defend that. Delhi, number one canal set from Ruin World. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm underestimating uh, Delhi here, but um, personally, I'm not a huge Delhi fan. On a map like this, so that's why I'm gonna put them at A. But just to be honest, you're never gonna see these B sieves on on a map like Canal at, at recent tournaments. These these S and A sieves, like these six sieves, are the only sieves you're gonna see. You you might see Arrow bids as well. These seven sieves, um, and that's just because these seven sieves are just way better than these these bottom sieves here. Um. Like, these seven sieves just have tempo. Arrow bids, for example, has cheaper docks. They have a faster age up. Um, they have free, free units when they age up if they want to. Um, they just have, like, way more options than these other sieves. There's, like, a rock, paper, scissors thing with the three top, isn't there? Yeah, I mean... Um, well, I think Mongos is probably fine against any of these sieves, but... Delhi is better against English. English is better against Ottomans. Um, I don't know about Japan and English. I haven't played that matchup too much, but yeah, there's a bit of rock, paper, scissors in matchups like this. Except for Mongas, I think. Mongas is fine against all of them. Yeah, so that's Canal. Um, again, you're not going to see Rus. I didn't talk about Rus and John, but you're really not going to see these serves because they just don't have enough early game tempo. Um, like any serve that you generally don't want to be making Dark Age Spearmen with. Um, that being Roos. Well, the Dragon you maybe could, but you get my point. Like, I'm not going to be good on hybrid maps. It's because um, you can't keep up with Mongos, you can't keep up with HRE, you can't keep up with English, you can't keep up with Ottomans. And then Japan and Delhi are kind of like um, special cases. So. That is my explanation for Canal. Okay. I feel like uh, I have seven more maps here. It's going to be 
gonna be a lot for me to talk about every single one of them. Maybe I should uh queue some games and then do a sieve tier in between queues or something. <laughs>